Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for a daily oracle and tarot card reading. Today's reading is going to be for Monday, February the 20th, and all week long we're going to be using the Unicorn Cards by Diana Cooper. And this is a very gentle deck of cards. I purchased these a while ago. Um, this is probably maybe the second or third time I've used them. I believe it's the second time. Beautiful, beautiful cards with gentle messages. And let's get started with the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers to the highest good of all. And let's take a card from the top. Soul Satisfaction. And that is card number 34. Let's take a card from the middle. We have Birth, card number 2. And last card from the bottom. We have card 38, Archangel Uriel. And as we know, Archangel Uriel is the angel of inner wisdom. Okay, he also helps us love ourselves and transform. So he's a good guy. <laughs> Uriel is number one in my book. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you out there are familiar with him. Uh, let's get started here. The first card is Soul Satisfaction. And we have a couple here holding a baby. And it looks like here they're uh, down at some type of a, a waterfront. They're standing here on the concrete sidewalk and there's an ocean in the background, a body of water. And there's a man here sitting on a bench playing a flute. How interesting. And the card reads, aim for that which makes your soul rejoice. And uh, how beautiful is that? I always say, do what makes your soul happy. Do what nurtures your soul. Only you know what you need. Only you know what's best for you. And this card is telling you today um, that we need to aim for what it is that we want in life. Uh, we may not know what our correct path is at this point. Okay, Some of us do, some of us don't. Sooner or later, it will become clearer to us. This is telling you, do something that makes your soul rejoice today. Whether it be uh, painting or writing or dancing or making videos, whatever you feel your soul needs, that's what you need to take the time out to do today. Or, or any day for that matter. And the next card is birth. And how beautiful. We have the mother unicorn and the little baby unicorn. That is so sweet. And it's saying, be receptive to a new idea, child, or situation. So this could be the announcement of a birth in your family. It doesn't necessarily have to be you giving birth to a child. This could be giving birth to a new project, a new idea. First card is telling us, do what makes you happy. Do what makes your soul rejoice. And this is the time to put it into action, to give birth to this plan. And even if no one around you, okay, would believe in what you're planning on doing, that doesn't matter. This is your life. You do what makes you happy. Because we are all responsible for our own happiness. We can't rely on people or things to bring us happiness because they might not always be around. So give birth to something new in your life today. And then Archangel Uriel. And how beautiful. We have the doves. I noticed the doves instantly. This card is so peaceful. And there's this, this light shining down upon this angel. And we have the unicorn here in the background. And this card is saying become a peace ambassador. So important. The world needs more people to create a peaceful atmosphere, a peaceful relationship with, a, a peaceful energy. Um, there's just so many things in the world that, you know, if you sat back and thought about them, I mean, you, you'd be negative for the rest of your life. There's things that we can't control. There's things that we could try to change or make better. And this is telling us that we need to become what we want to see in the world. And we want to see peace. I don't think there's anyone out there that doesn't wish for peace. I myself try the best I can on my Facebook page to create a peaceful environment. There's so many things on the internet that is, 
you know, negative, complaining, always me, victim mentality. You could easily come upon negativity, okay, on the internet. But I want to do something different. I want to give people a choice. They don't have to settle for the drama. They don't have to settle for the backstabbing and all the nonsense that goes on. And, and these people, it's, they just tend to thrive on it, okay? And that's not us. Okay, if you're watching this video, I would say you're a pretty peaceful person because you know the atmosphere and the energy that I bring to this channel. This is how I live my life. And if each and every one of us would just try to be peaceful, you know, as much as possible. And I know some of us are going through some really, really rough times, myself included, but we have a choice. We can either get dragged down by the negativity toxic people, like I said, all the things that go on that, you know, that's them. This is me. I'm not allowing that to affect me. You know, you choose the people you surround yourself with. And when you choose to be around peaceful people, your vibration is raised, your energy is raised. Uh, this is telling you to be a peace ambassador, whether it's in your family, your group of friends, whether you're deciding to make videos, whether it's on Facebook, <laughs> whether it's on any social media, okay? The, life is tough enough. We don't need to add to it. And again, I think I'm doing my part by uh, allowing the, the sense of peace that I feel spill out into the world because I really feel the people need this. They need it now more than ever. So see how you can be peaceful today and maybe show some peace and love towards someone else. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.